The elections in Zanzibar were first held back in October, but those results were annulled halfway through counting because of allegations of fraud. But the opposition has always believed that that vote was free and fair, and that the real reason the vote was cancelled was because they had won for the first time in history. Now they say they won't take part in the rescheduled elections in March, and they urge all Zanzibaris to join the boycott. They want the original results to be reinstated instead. This leaves the islands in political limbo. Even if the results go ahead, the turnout is likely to be very low, and this increases the potential for violence if Zanzibaris feel that their voices aren't being heard. There have previously been warnings of potential extremism on the islands, which are predominantly Muslim. The opposition did use its statement to call for peace, and so far it has been peaceful. But many people do feel angry, and it's difficult to see what might happen next, as the two sides struggle to reach any kind of agreement. Lucy Taylor, TRT World, in Tanzania.